I don't see you live. Fuck. She says you did it. Am I? Uh, is that? Oh, I don't. I. I don't even know if I'm live. <laughs> yeah, you are. You're live. I am. Did we do you it? Are. Oh my yeah. god. I don't I know. See if... Dorica. Yeah. yeah. Are people there? I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm such yeah, a yeah, fucking yeah. idiot. I was yeah. like so proud of myself because I got everything. I thought I got everything organized last night, and I was like, I'll cook up a gas, people. And clearly, I wasn't. <laughs> Anyway, yep. Are people, yeah, you're, you're good. <laughs> We're all good. Oh shit! All right. Hi. Wait, I don't see chat. How do I do that? Oh. Wait. Um, hang on. Do I? Can I make myself smaller? I mean, that's always good, isn't maybe. it? Make yourself smaller. Yeah, but I still don't see chat. I mean, I probably, I would like to see chat, just so, um. Just in case, wait. Bear with me, people. Maybe I need to do a separate window, right? And get my Twitch out there. Because I'm on OBS. All right. <clears throat> God, I made coffee, but really I need something a little stronger after that. Is it too early? <laughs> Is it too early for a glass of wine? Never too early. It's uh, midday somewhere. All right. Uh, I'm sure it's going to get better. Hi, Saffron. She she doesn't care. She's asleep. But thank you. Um, Marge? Marge is, Marge is not even in the room. She's, oh. she's, uh, she's patrolling the cat tree. <sighs> now, die, die, die. I mean, <laughs> you fulfilled your purpose, Mr. Winters. That's what I'm going to say to the next guy um, that breaks up with me. How dope is that? You guys are so generous with your gifts. Um, I've also got this, which I was waiting to whip out later, but I mean, while we're on the subject. Mm -mm. I'm never going to get these signed, am I? Um, that was my wonderful birthday present this year. Thank you. Um, I could just... Uh, you're killing me, girl. All right. Yes. All right. Wonderful. All right. Here we go. Oh, fucking hell. God. All right. Let's try this pen. Which of Shakespeare's play is the longest? They're all fucking long. Oh, the but longest. There's a longer. <laughs> there's well. one that's longest. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, yes, Pimento got it. Hamlet. Nice. That was so quick. Hamlet. I don't know if I would have guessed Hamlet. Um, fun fact: I played Ophelia once. Ooh. Um, dear, this is a next Um. Okay. Uh, one, two, three says. Tell us about cats. <laughs> the animals or the musical? The musical. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so so Saffron's walking on Holly's print, so you might get some paw prints for free. <laughs> get off. Um, cats and musical. What would you like to know? What do you want to know? Do you want to know uh, like about my my experience in it or about the show? Um. She's a fan of the show. Like she loves, she watches the movie, the the one that they, not oh. the, the 2019 one. So. Um, the meter, my beloved. <laughs> that was me. Um, so what do you? I don't know what you want to know. What do you want to know? So you know the show, although I have to say they the sh the movie is not at all like the show. So if you've only seen the movie. It's very different to the musical. Hang on, dear Chris Rosagans. Uh... She says the nineteen ninety eight movie is superior. <laughs> oh, there's another movie. Was that just a video? Yeah. I think that was just a movie it was of the, the, the recording music the show. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen that. Um, it is. 
it's the most fun to do, but probably the weirdest show to watch. Um, but it's great. Like as a dancer, it's probably at least when I was doing at the time was like one of the most like technical, technically difficult shows to do as a dancer. So, um, yeah, it was like a massive challenge, but like such a thrill to do it. Um, it was my first job. Uh, I probably couldn't have done it at any other point in my life because it was so physically demanding. Like I'd die now if I had to. I mean, I you wouldn't be able to. Um, but yeah, it's fun. And when you rehearse the show, they give you lots of like giant cat toys to play with. <laughs> it's so silly. Uh, it's really silly. Like trying to explain that to someone. What did you do today at work? Well, rolled around with a giant ball of yarn. You know, got my tummy tickled. Just regular stuff. Um, anyway, still one of my favorite jobs that I've ever done. Um, is the best. All right. Oh, also fun fact. When I did the show, I did it in Germany. So I had to learn the entire show in German. Wow. How about that? Um, all right, hang on, dear. All right, I'm going to draw a few crudels. Uh, Laya says, uh, do you remember some lines? <laughs> <clears throat> oh, my God, I'm going to, like, butcher it. Um, uh, das Benennen von Katzen ist ein schwieriger Sagen or something like that. That's the beginning. Liz, can you help me out? Hand it over, Germany. Das Benennen, das Benennen von Katzen ist ein schwieriges, I can't remember it. I remember, my cavity. No, I can't remember anything. I can't fucking remember. It was like literally, <laughs> good, so. Um, hang on, I was, I was, it was such a long time. I was 18 when I did that show. Um, so it was a long time ago. Um, I'll think of it as I'm, as I'm signing and I'll deliver some, some German uh, for you. Lias wrote in chat, thus I can't read German, so. <laughs> I can't read. Oh, das Benennen von Katzen ist. I know. That's the last bit I couldn't really remember. Uh, OMG, so viele Deutsche here. That's right. McCavity's a ginger cat. I know it in English. Um, all right. Uh, okay. Krista, Zach, Saul, and Lexi. I just caught the uh, Lias, um, oh. I'm just wondering if Michelle got my package or if it's lost or Maggie holds it hostage. Um, I, I think they sent it to Maggie. Oh, Maggie is holding it hostage. I have not received it yet. <laughs> that bitch. Um, uh, <laughs> Maggie is evil. She is. She's so evil. <laughs> Who would be her choice to play Miranda in a live action movie slash series. Oh. Who would you pick to play your character? Oh, well, that's Please. easy. Me. Yes. <laughs> Duh. Duh. Um, wait, no, but if not me, um, ooh. I mean, I hate to be obvious, but I feel like Angelina Jolie would nail it. She just looks so fucking iconic as well, doesn't she? Yes. Um, Especially when she did Maleficent. Yeah. But I need to come up with something a little more interesting. There's so many yeah. fantastic actresses out there. Mm -hmm. It's a tough one to cast. I mean, obviously, if I was unavailable, we could get Angelina in. But, you know, who would you guys cast? If you don't say me, <laughs> you're dead to me. I'm kidding. Who would you guys have play? Uh, Tilda? Tilda Swinton? Mm -hmm. Meh. Kate Blanchett. Blanchett! Oh, she... Yes. Charlie I thought Charlie Theron, but... Ne, Eva Green. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. Maggie, Maggie Robertson. Robertson. <laughs> Who said that? Invento. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um... Uh. <laughs> um, I think Kate Blanchett would be an amazing um, choice. Hang on, as you keep 
as you keep um, I love that we're just rotating roles within the Resident Evil universe yes. got someone else had said uh, <laughs> Nikki Lee Tompkins Sarah, Sarah Coates <laughs> um, all good choices um, <laughs> as you keep giving me um, casting notes I'm going to get on with the next one um, this what's your overused emoji <laughs> <laughs> oh my, my oh who asked that question that's hilarious my um my favorite emoji which is totally overused is is the is the little yellow face that's like you know the one oh the cringy one the one with the teeth yeah i just think it's such a versatile emoji it can be shit or it can be <laughs> or it can be like uh i shouldn't have said that yikes I don't know. It's fucking great. Whoever came up with that one deserves an award. What's everyone's favorite snacks? <clears throat> I bought, I bought, I came prepared. Oh, look what I've got, guys. Seriously. I bought the, <laughs> look how fucking huge this bag is. Ooh. So I yes. love these. But in America, they only sell them at Easter. What the fuck yes. is the, what, I just, what, Scooby Snacks. Um, I just don't understand why they would only sell these at Easter because in England you can get them 12 months a year. Anyway, I bulk bought. This bag of mini eggs cost me $15. Isn't that insane? Worth every penny though. Mm. I, I think that the ones that they make in the US aren't the same as the ones that you'll get in the UK. Like the. I would normally agree, but. These are so damn good. I'm gonna, they're so good, I'm going to leave them on the table. Mm. Chips, I guess. Hydrate. You're right, Tori. Um, I, I bought coffee to hydrate. <laughs> coffee and Cadbury eggs. God, I'm dead inside. If I'm not, there's no room on the table. I've got to get rid of them. Right, hang on. Let me get back to Coop. But wait, did someone get bingo? Yes. JPEG K got bingo. Yes! Already. JPEG K! You got bingo! It was uh, basically on so the. This d is what she got. I can read it out for you. Okay. Uh, does it know technology? <laughs> <laughs> Adjust fuck her fuck you. <laughs> yes, read it out. Doesn't know technology. Tick. Next one. Uh, so the free space is the crudel. So. That's already taken. Mm -hmm. um, the mere thought of Dorica, because <laughs> you, you mentioned Dorica. <laughs> She's a fucking earth angel. Yes. Says something out of his uh, Gen Z textbook. <laughs> what was that? I, You've got to be specific. It was the emoji. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Wait, is that it? Yeah, that was all she got it across. Um, oh. I mean, she can go for her blackout. <laughs> yeah. He's in the chat. He is. He is, or he isn't. Fear no one. What? <laughs> Sorry, what are you doing? <laughs> mm -mm, he's not in the chat. We've kept it simple, oh. Alex. Chicago. I love Chicago. doing that show. That was, one of, that was also a favorite job of mine. That's for Alex. Right, for Alex. Who did you play in Chicago? Um, I played, I was a swing, so I played all the female characters. Ooh. Uh, but the character I played the most was uh, Liz. She's the one that goes, pop. She killed her boy, she shot her boyfriend or husband. Uh, you know yes. the one? She got a shotgun and- That's right, because he wouldn't stop chewing gum. I get it. All right, I am one of the most indecisive people you'll ever meet. And so it's really difficult for me to pick one thing. Um, my favorite book, I don't know. I honestly don't know the, uh, the, the answer to that question. I um, am reading at the moment though, 1984 by George Orwell. So that's what I'm reading right now. It's not my favorite. Um, but uh, I am enjoying it. It's sort of a, anyone know about it? It's like a dystopian world, which is actually 
not too different from the world we're living in. Um, Michelle, do you like Elton John? I mean, I could definitely like hum along and tap my foot to a couple of Elton songs, but not my go-to, if I'm honest. Coop says 1984 is a classic. It sure is. Read 1984 in class. I fortunately didn't. I did read Animal Farm, though, in class. Um, another great Orwell. Um, there's lots of roles I'd like to play. Um, I'd love to play Constance in King John. Um, there's lots of Shakespeare, uh, there's lots of plays I would love to do. Constance in King John was something I always wanted to play. Um, and I don't know, I guess for like TV and film, TV, I love TV. I really enjoy making TV. So I love a role. I don't have like a specific role, but I would love like my go-to is drama in terms of like genres. Um, it's just my thing, I think. Um, I'm not very funny, so comedy is always like slightly uncomfortable, um, but I do love a good drama. So something, something gritty with a dangerous storyline with a character that has, there's a well-written character that has depth and is a challenge for me. I know that's really vague, but yeah, that's my answer. You are funny. Like, I feel like everyone says, oh, you're so funny. You should do, um, you should do comedy. But then whenever I get a comedy script, it's like, I'm so dry. It's not funny at all. Um, I also wouldn't mind doing, sorry, I'm like, jumping all over the place. I wouldn't mind doing some kind of, I'd like to do a, a, a period drama. I actually auditioned for something recently that was a period drama, but I didn't get it. <sighs> Bear loss. Um, and I'd also like to do something in the sort of magical realm. Like how cool would it to be like, to play some kind of like ethereal goddess or like a witch or just something a little out there. I mean, I guess I have done with Mother Miranda, but like, you know, for TV and film. So I don't know. Does that answer your question, lovely Zachary? Um, happy belated birthday, my little Piscean friend. That's her comment. Oh. That's her side of the dialogue. Well, that's easy. She would say, Heisenberg was always my least favorite child. <laughs> we all know that. I'm yes, gonna... and then she throws the table. Go, <laughs> Maggie. Why is you told her I'll hold back. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here's a question for you, another fun one. Yeah. What's your worst example of procrastination? <laughs> Can I think about it for a while? <laughs> My worst example of procrastination? Yes. It was just a fun question. Okay, so for years I've been thinking I should I should switch careers. <laughs> like years. Um I remember like having so back in when I was doing strike back I was already thinking maybe I would um switch focus from acting onto something else. Um cuz as you get older, at least in my experience, it's been been more challenging um you know finding the right roles and stuff and so back here already in like 2013 I was thinking about switching careers um and I had thought I wanted to retrain as a therapist um like a psychotherapist and then I realized that it was such a huge commitment and one I wasn't quite ready to make because I was still acting um and so I was like, maybe that's not the right career, but I should definitely think about doing something else. And that was like almost 10 years ago. So that's probably my biggest procrastination. Heisenberg was always my least favorite. He's miserably incompetent. Uh -huh. Let's see. Da, da, da. Hey, do you mind a straight back question? No, of course not. All right. How was it integrating with the cast when you joined in season two, I believe? 
Well, actually, I I joined in the first season, so we all oh, jo- we all started together. So it okay. so it was never a case of me having to um, like join an existing cast. We on the first yeah. day we were all new, so. Um, so th- I think always think that that's much easier than coming into an established cast for anything as the new person. So in that respect, it was easy because we were all new. Um, and, you know, for Strike Back, <laughs> when you're doing television, especially when you're filming away from home, it's such a bubble. So we were filming for like six months at a time in, you know, foreign locations. So, and it's not a big cast and... Um, it's a big crew, but uh, the so the the heads of departments were would travel with us, and then we would hire local crew. It's just a very uh, small world that you live in, and so by default you become like family, and sometimes it's dysfunctional family. But um, yeah, that's always been my experience: is working on jobs like that, you become very close to the people you work with and that's cast crew you know production production producers everything so I don't know it was very easy and I made some very good friends um on that job who are still like family for me so yeah it was an amazing time with amazing experiences with funny folk (laughs) it was it was good yeah, you did film in different locations, which we was did. like, I wouldn't say fit because you, you don't like picking favorites. Uh, yeah, I said it would be so. one that you, that stood out to you? Uh, I loved being in South Africa. Oh, I don't know, but Thailand was pretty dope as well. I don't know. It's hard to choose. Um, it's hard to choose. But I did, we spent more time in uh, in South Africa. So it felt more like home I guess because we were there for three years um so that was pretty amazing yeah South Africa is beautiful it really is ask you another straight back question sure did you have to go through a lot of training um I definitely did well um, yes yes and no so we did some intense training but we didn't have like there's not the for TV. There's not the budget and the time to do a lot. But I was on the show for five years, so collectively over that time, I did a fair amount. But we did basic like weapons training. We did hand to hand combat. Um, we did some Muay Thai. Um, we did like tactical training. Um, so yeah, I would say we did we did a lot. But uh, it never feels like enough, right? Because as actors, you wanna you wanna do the the best job that you can at, and and the most authentic job that you can. So with something so specific, you know, you wanna you wanna honor the people that do it for real by by being as authentic as possible. Um, we did have um, military advisors on set every day, who were always available to us. We were all coming from the same place where, you know, when you're blocking through a scene, if there are any questions that you have or like doubts, you can always be like, would would we do this in this situation? Or how would we how would we do this? So it was really useful to have those people at our fingertips to answer those questions. And really, you know, a lot of people when they talk about the show talk about how real it is. And that's largely because of the the team that we had to support us also aside from the training they make you do they make you go to the gym every day so during that time in my life I was like the fittest I've ever been because you're like on set for 12 hours a day and then you're going to the gym um to keep in shape and stuff so yeah it was pretty intense she says eating a mini egg (laughs) um all right so I'm doing Ali's Okay, I also asked, Luli, please ask her what it was like to stab a man with a mop. Oh. <laughs> that one scene. Oh, my God. 
That was so fun. He was, can I just say, he was the nicest man in the world as well. He was such a gentleman. Uh, he was, he's a, he's a professional um, stunt guy and also an actor. Um, but also, but also like the sweetest man in the world. But um, that whole, that fight was the first time I had ever had to do like a full on like hand to hand combat. His name's Charlie. That was it. Charlie. What a nice man. Um, and so the whole thing was like quite overwhelming. And I remember when we filmed it, it was like, ugh. it was tricky because we were filming two units side by side. And so when one unit was filming, the other, un the other unit couldn't because of the noise. And so it was a case of like, fight, 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 sit there for like half an hour, your body gets cold. And then it's like, all right, go, go, go. And you have to get up. And then like the whole thing was actually quite stressful. Um, but the mop thing was my absolute favorite. Uh, the mop, and also I think I smashed a pane of glass over his head, which was also fun. <laughs> Silly. Um, but yeah, the mop was like pretty comical. But I think it went down well. People seem to see people seem to enjoy that. So I was on a hike the other day. I meant to post because I took a video of it. I told you last time we did a signing. So this is for Ali. Do do do. There you go, Ali coming with look at that, look at that ore. <laughs> Um, paddle. <laughs> it's a paddle. It's a light paddle. Light paddle. Um, I was on a hike the other day, and um, this crow followed me the entire way round the hike. It was so bizarre. I think it knew that I was its mother. Because look, now you got crows following you around. <laughs> I do ever since I don't know if I'm just more aware of it, but but definitely since I played this role, I see crows everywhere. They follow me every. It knew. I know. It knew. It's the paddle of the galaxy. It sure is. You are very lucky. Let me tell you, Ali. That's an original. Just while you guys are on, I just want to say thank you again for everyone that um, did my birthday video. I was like astonished at all the amazing messages from everyone um and sorry what for some reason when i played the video on my birthday it only it didn't show me the messages it only showed me like the like the video the video montage up until the messages and then it got cut off and it wasn't until I, like a few days later that I was re-watching things and suddenly all these messages appeared from nowhere. It was like a second birthday. And then I felt bad because I hadn't said thank you on my birthday. But I wanted to say again just how sweet and kind and thoughtful it was. So I just, it just really meant a lot to me. So thank you, you guys. Um, uh, yeah, Tarika did the intro video. Yes, you guys. It just meant so much to me. We all put it together. Um, Cass was the one that edited it for you. Oh, it was <laughs> amazing. Um, I don't know how I missed it the first time, but it was kind of nice getting it. Um, oh, I love you too. Um, getting it a few days later. It was like, oh, yeah, it was glorious. How does it feel to play villain in Resident Evil? Um, do you like playing heroes or do you like playing villains? What's your like go-to? Um, I mean, both are fun for very different reasons. Um, it's always fun to play the hero because people are always rooting for you. So you can do no wrong. Um, and it's nice to feel like everyone's on your side, but villains definitely have the most fun. Like, because you're often getting to do the things that, you can't do or not allowed to do in real life. Do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. it's it's just a way of just being naughty and getting away with it. Um, I would say it's fun to play the villain. It's all, because the heroes are always a little bit vanilla, which is fine, but you know, to get to just play the villain is, villains are hot, damn right. Um, yep. 
I had to get these. They're just so gorgeous, aren't, aren't they? Can we just give another shout out to yes. my earth angel, Darika, for, for designing these? Um, anyway, so I'm going to write that one on the front. Jacqueline. Oops, dropping my crystals. For anyone that doesn't know, I'm a little bit of a... What's the word? I'm a little... I'm a little out there. New age. Do it just enough. Um, and grief is a grief is a funny thing, you know. And I know several people that are really struggling with loss right now, and I understand the impact it has on on life and on relationships. And so I really feel for you for whatever you're going through. I wish I could see your face. It feels weird that I'm saying this to my computer screen. Um, but I'm glad that you can find some joy from, from this. Um, you know, often I always struggle with being an actor and, and what really we contribute to the world in a sort of sense of meaning. Like, is it important? Am I really doing something worthwhile? And then I'm reminded that there is a place for for what we do that is meaningful when um, I get sweet messages like that. Gabriel. Gabriel or Gabrielle? Um, so Gabrielle. thank you. Um, it means as much to me that I can do this for you. So I'm thinking of you and I'm sending you much love. Big kiss. Um, wish I was bilingual. I'm also mad at my mum for never teaching me to speak Cantonese. Oh yeah, someone asked if I'd ever been to, hang on, wait, I'm multitasking. This is for Jacqueline, your second one. Jacqueline, I will sign the other two as well, but for now, um, for Jacqueline, in life and death we give glory to Mother Miranda with love always from me, and I will adorn the rest later um, when you guys are not having to sit and watch me. Um, uh, so yes, have I been to Asia? I have been to Asia on many occasions. I am, I'm half Chinese. Um, not that that's a reason to take me to Asia necessarily, but um, I do go back and visit family. I have family in Singapore. Um, I've worked in Thailand. I um, have worked in Japan. Um, I've been to Hong Kong, um, I've worked in China, um, yeah, where else? Are you keeping March? Oh, <laughs> man. To keep March? <laughs> I gotta say, it's a tough <laughs> one, because, you know, she came, as you guys know, she came to me feral, and <laughs> I've had her now for, like, nine nine oh, I know, since june how many months is that i've had both of them yeah. since june but like when saffron came to me she was like she was already ready for a forever home but marge was not and she was feral and she was hissy and she wouldn't let me touch her and she's just come so far we've gone on such a journey together i'm so tempted to keep her um and she's also f such a fucking weirdo I just love cats. They're so weird. Like she just has the funniest little like quirks. Um, and it just makes me love her more. And she's, she's an underdog and who, uh, an underdog, she's an undercat and who doesn't love, you know, an underdog. I'm so tempted to keep her watch this space. I'm trying not to, cause I'm really not in a position to have pets like full, like properly, properly, but it's very, very tempting. So we'll see. It's possible. <laughs> Everybody's rooting for you and Marge. <laughs> oh, Margie. Where's Marge now, though? That's my question. Probably keeping Neighborhood Watch. <laughs> <laughs> she's such a cutie. Uh, she's like fully like, oh, come around. And I had a friend staying the other day and she let my friend pet her too, which is amazing because she's never let anyone else pet her but me. Also, she's such a weirdo because I'll only she only lets me pet her 
or if I'm sitting in a specific seat on the couch, like if I'm like in the kitchen, no way. If I'm like, if she's walking through the hallway, no way. Like she'll run away from me. But if I'm sitting on the couch in that one spot, she's a slut. Yeah. I once have a. I'm gonna open some snacks, you guys. Ooh, that was loud. Uh, I mean, you know there'll be lots of swear words. Well, we can make more bingo cards <laughs> for that one. <laughs> mm. Imagine Michelle playing RE7 in VR. <laughs> oh no, what does that mean? Um, it's pretty scary, isn't it? And that's the one where Mia goes crazy with a chainsaw. <laughs> Yeah, that so one's like, pretty scary, imagine, right? Imagine, imagine it being very surreal, like the the way that you envisioned everything. Like she's like in your face, like trying to kill you. <laughs> I would. There'd be definitely lots of fucks and screaming. All right, stop being a pussy, Saul. Go out and get that coochie ammo. There you go. Um. Little flock of crudels, a murder of crudels. Oh, wow, this one is. What's happened to him? Three crudels are better than one. <clears throat> family of crudels. He's a little family. It's a mama crudel and a baby crudels. Oh. All right. There you go. Crudel away. <laughs> Thanks, Keith. Um, Keith thinks it's fucking dope. Keith knows what's what. Here's Michelle's thing for saving the stream on. Funny you should ask that. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. <laughs> I was having so many issues at 11 o'clock. It was like the last thing on my mind. And Luli was like, do this, save the stream. And I was like, so, Michelle needs to hydrate again. You're right. I've had literally one sip of LaCroix, 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 and it's flat. I have a full cup of cold coffee. I've literally drunk nothing. Oh my God, I'm joking. <coughs> hydrate. Hydrate. I got a cracker stuck in my throat. <laughs> if anyone screenshots this, you're dead to me. Guys, don't do it. <laughs> Jesus. Ugh. All right. Um, Eli, honestly, hope you're living your best life out there. Thank you, Eli. And hope that you're remembering to be kind to yourself. You know, I really need to hear that sometimes, as I'm sure everybody does. <laughs> Wait. Oh, Josie. Um, yeah, you guys, we all need to be kind to ourselves. So easy to like slip into that self bashing mentality, isn't it? I catch myself doing it all the time in like the big ways, but also in the little little ways. Like if I do something, I'm like, oh fucking idiot. It's like, why do we talk to ourselves like that? Yeah? Then do it. Anyway, thank you for that reminder, Eli. I needed that today. Um it's been a tough week. So thank you. I will remember to be kind to myself. Um, you're exceedingly valuable. Thank you. Oh, you make me cry. Deserve every good thing. Hope you're well. Go nuts and write whatever. Mm -mm. I will be right back. Um, how has Resident Evil changed your life? Um, I would say the biggest change would be... I sort of sort of touched on it before like I'm I'm quite introverted actually and in the past um like when I did Halo I didn't do any press for Halo and um I didn't get into um immersing myself in the community either and um I suppose that's the 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 the, the game that I compare Resident Evil to just in terms of like um exposure and fan base I have done other games um but the difference 
I suppose, and I don't know whether it's just the time of my life or whether it's you guys, but the biggest change has been me opening uh, opening my world up to you guys, I guess. Um, I suppose I, w- I was, I have been private, but not private to be private, private just because, um, you know, interacting with um, the community is just, I've just never been very confident in that. Um, But you guys have been so amazing that it's been very easy for me to do that. So um, just making a whole new bunch of virtual friends um, has probably been the biggest impact the game has had on me. We're turning you into an extrovert. (laughs) Um, So yeah, Uh, okay. I'm gonna. Saffron has the most gigantic cat ears. And while we're on the subject, Marge has the most enormous feet. It's fucking weird. They're like feet that should belong to a bear. It's weird. Oh my god, you're gonna die. It's so bad. Oh my god. It's so cute. So that's Saffron because she's very exotic. She's skinny with long legs and she's got massive ears. That's Marge because she's fat with like ginormous paws and a big fluffy tail. Um, <clears throat> and me, you guys are fucking generous. Um, okay, and then we're going to do all of Derika's because um, she is our beautiful, talented, wonderful Earth Angel artist. Ass asks, Michelle and Maggie duo print when? <laughs> oh, I mean, did you see the epic artwork of that? Of no name is fine. Okay, got it. Um, again, Dorika did the most epic uh, print design. Sorry, I should say for Miranda and Alcina. Did you guys see it? My favorite child. <laughs> Exactly. <clears throat> or should I? No, I want to put these here. Okay, and last but not least, um, Luli. Oh, no, her. Never met her. <laughs> don't, know, don't know who she is. Um, all right, my girl. Oh, who is Mother Miranda's favorite grandchild? Not. Oh, wait, grandchild. Who are the grandchildren? <laughs> I think it's only Alcina's daughters and maybe Angie. Um, I Bela, Cassandra, Daniela, and Angie. All right, you're gonna hate me. I know you're gonna hate me, but because I haven't played the game or oh. recorded anything with the daughters, I don't know the difference between them. That's their hair. Uh, and their personalities. Why well, don't? Oh, yeah. what, what are their personalities like? And then I'll give you an answer. So Cassandra is the um, she wants to kill everybody. Oh, I like um, her already. <laughs> there you go. Who? What, uh, what, what, what about the others? Daniela is uh, she's more of like the childish one. No, she would be annoying. And then Bela is the eldest. What was her personality like? Uh, she's more flirty, is uh, very obedient, and I think Ma- somebody says Bela is very obedient, and I think Mother. Uh, that... I think I'd go she for. Does... I think I'd go for that one. I like hey, obedient. Bela. I like obedient. I like someone that's going to try and please me. <laughs> I think I'd go for her. Danielle is the hopeless romantic. Is that the one that wants to kill everyone? Uh, no, that's Cassandra. Uh, Becca Pruitt voices Bela. You know I auditioned for the daughters. Oh. Actually, I auditioned for um, Alcina first, and then the daughters, and then Mother Miranda. I'm sure some of you know that already. So Mother Miranda was not your first choice. <laughs> 
she's the best line. <laughs> I didn't. They asked me. They they gave me those characters. Um, I knew that they wanted someone quite tall for um, Alcina. Um, and then I auditioned, yeah, for the three daughters, and that obviously didn't work out. And then at the very last minute, they were like, read for this part. But I didn't know who the role, I didn't know what the role was at the time. It was sort of an unknown quantity. Mm. Yeah, a lot of people in chat that I know you auditioned for Alcina. I did. That was the first one I did. And I did her, and I when I auditioned, they I had to do it with a Eastern European accent. Um, anyway. Mm remake where everyone is michelle <laughs> god that would be dull um hilarious uh okay well Everybody's for the yeah. for the people that stayed for the entire almost four hours you are amazing to me um oh look at all that support you guys um I, I, I. I love you all so much. Um, I just never thought I'd enjoy doing something like this, but I just love it. Um, congratulations to the bingo and trivia winners. Um, don't forget to send me your deets. Um, and for everyone else that just came with a good juju, um, I love you. <laughs> um, and yeah, anyone else want to say anything before we all go? Uh, oh, you are so welcome. Thank you for the sign. But you're welcome, you're welcome. Yes, tag me with your bingo. Yes, that was fun. Um, if you guys enjoy the games, we'll try and get creative. Oh, thank you. Whoever said I look beautiful. I feel like I look haggard, but thank you. Love, y'all. Love to my mum. I know, Mother's Day. I would have called her now, actually. Hey um yay and i want to say again a big thank you to dorika for doing the amazing artwork um gosh you couldn't really see my amazing top could you um i also want to say uh yep dorika hype um i love you guys i love you guys i love you guys and also an, an enormous can we just say an enormous thank you to luli for being the moderator extraordinaire um, thank you to all of you guys that put together the bingo cards and the trivia questions. Um, I just love you. I just love you all. I can't even speak. This happens when I do these. I suddenly lose the ability to talk after about two hours. Um, yes. So, yeah. Don't know when we'll do another one. If you guys want to do another one, we will. I'm really just taking my cues off you. So, um, hit me up. Tell me what you want. I know we've got some crudel pins um, in the making, so yeah. Anything else you want to see, let me know. I know there's requests for uh, Alcina Miranda signing, so maybe we'll do that as well if Maggie has time. Um, all right. I'm sending love. Mwah. 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 Um, have a beautiful Sunday. I hope Monday isn't too traumatic. Um, for all of you getting up early in a minute and going to work. Um, yeah. Love you guys. Bye. 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 Yes. Bye we'll update you on my crudel tattoo. Mind blown. Um, that I cannot even wait. I can't fathom. I can't fathom. My brain can't compute. Um, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. All right, you guys. I don't want to keep you any longer. Um, Sending so much love. Yeah. I'm I'm going. Bye. Bye everyone. Bye.